are near. I can smell demon blood. This is Azazel's domain. He is a powerful warrior, once an angel in the realm you humans call heaven. This is Azazel's domain. He is a powerful warrior, once an angel in the realm you humans call heaven. He led an insurrection among the angelic host against his creator after he forged the first man, Adam. Azazel was banished to the underworld for his crimes. So this Azazel guy, can he be killed in a stand-up fight? Yes, but he will not go quietly. You have never confronted a foe of such magnitude. Fortunate for you that I am by your side. Together, we have the strength to kill him. Enough talk, then. We go forth to kill a demigod. Alright, welcome back to Necrovision. Uh, it's time to fight Azazel in Azazel's lair. And we'll be doing that right now, actually. This will be an interesting challenge. And it is written that the Son of Fire will not give his life to the Son of Earth. These words I spoke countless years ago. And now I bear witness to this. The alliance of a traitor beast and a weakling human. Neither of you understand the consequences of your actions. <laughs> You are children, your lives without meaning. Your only fate is to join with me. Kneel before my grace, or perish. Thanks for the offer, but if it's all the same to you, I'll pass. You're behind the times, buddy. Things have changed now I'm in the game. Your time is over. You might have killed Naga's people, but we humans won't die without a fight. You're just an empty damn soul. Thanks. But I must refuse. You are far behind what has happened since I joined the scene. Your days are over. The world of Naga could not exist anymore. But ours does. I will kill you and your puppet you are sitting on. Your words mean nothing to me. Empty damn soul. So yeah, Azazel, after Simon rambles on a lot about uh, the fact that the dragons are dead and they're shit, and they are no way as great as human beings, uh, we decide to fight Azazel. His arena has uh, a good amount of room. It's got some swinging balls from the ceiling that do absolutely no damage. It's got an endless stream of these flying demons that we've seen so much of, and then there's Azazel himself on his mighty Severus, and actually, uh, he is not too hard while he's, uh, riding on the Cerberus, as you can see, we've already got him down to about a third health, and, uh, he'll be dead soon, which is good, even though, uh, it's not the end of the boss fight itself. But the basic strategy is you kill enough demons to work up adrenaline, and once you got enough adrenaline, you shoot fireballs, and uh, wash, rinse, and repeat, and he's uh, taken care of. And uh, this poor puppy is uh, its no longer with us. Yep. So, Azazel has killed his dog, and we have left our dragon for no explicable reason. And we are greeted with a, not a new enemy, this enemy we actually saw back in the second stage. But we only saw one of them, and we actually really didn't get too close of a look because he was surrounded in some kind of weird, ultra-painful fog. But I can assume this is a, a denizen of Mephisto's world. Basically a demon. Not too uh, incredibly hard. 
the only difficulty really comes from the fact that uh, doing a melee attack against them will cause them to go flying backwards like they're sliding on ice as you can probably see fairly well and uh, they're basically just really annoying it's it's hard to finish off a combo on them unless it's a, uh, a shooting followed by a melee combo any melee that opens up will just send them flying backwards and they'll immediately get back up and start hassling you and they uh, rarely just come one at a time they usually come about two or three and they'll all start hopping and clawing at you and occasionally they will stop and pick up stones out of the ground it doesn't really hit that often but it can be annoying but uh, we're just going to finish off those last little remnants of demons before we head into the final arena. Now, uh, your first inclination might be to stay up top and just uh, keep shooting at Azazel. Not really the best strategy. I'm not sure why. But the, uh, the best strategy is really to get, uh, to get in his face. Which uh, is taking me... Bit of a bit of a has or bit of a uh, ordeal there, just because of the poor collision and jumping that was available. But uh, we uh, we have the steam vents again, which we're going to be using to our advantage to uh, get up close and personal with our good friend Azazel. Now, normally he would be using um, basically a combination of all of our shadow hand spells. Such as uh, throwing fireballs, shooting stakes, things like that, along with a pretty constant stream of these demons. Or these uh, flying demons, I should say. Uh, normally, or in my uh, first couple attempts at this, he actually made me run out of ammo as I was attempting to fight him while standing on higher ground. Not really the thing to do as you end up shooting the flying demons a lot more than you should as Azel. So it's a lot better to get down here and fly around like an idiot while constantly pumping bullets into him. If you, uh, if you can keep on the move, if you can keep on flailing around like an idiot, like I'm doing right now, you'll actually stay uh, fairly safe. You can actually uh, kill this uh, sergeant of hell with just uh, the submachine gun. Uh, I think this would have taken a little bit less time had I went with the razor, but... I was afraid of uh, using up all the ammo as this had been my fifth or sixth attempt at it. And in previous attempts, I had used up all my ammo. But uh, he's actually almost dead now. And uh, not the most imposing, or not the most difficult boss. He's definitely imposing with his fiery flames and huge evil wings, but uh, kind of a joke otherwise. But it's, it's at least uh, a little bit more bearable than. Uh, Zimmerman's fight was in the Scorpion battle tank. He's dead. You're beaten, pretty boy. How does defeat taste? I can't be stopped, you hear me? No demon, no monster, no enemy has the strength. Who's gonna be the next to die? Only one demon remains to oppose us. The Devil King. The Lord of the Flies. Mephisto himself. And with that explosion, we get a doorway to hell and the end of the stage. Rather short boss battle, but uh, this is Negroth, and I'll be seeing you in hell in the next episode.